Okay, I just turned off security. Uh-oh. Jack, they're coming your way. Yeah. I did some digging. This Chronon operation is harvesting some kind of fuel. It's used to power a device called the CFR. Ever heard of it? CFR? No, what is it? I'm not sure, but it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. The thing they stole from the university, this operation, everything's linked to the CFR somehow. What the hell is Paul up to? There he is!
final level of the narrative points that one can never do a past belief in the near future. I'm queuing up the presentation to make sure everybody remembers the essentials before we proceed. Hello, I'm Dr. Sophia Amar. Over the past six years, Venus has made vast technological advances in the area of Myers-Dose particles, better known as Sonon particles. On July 4th, 2010, unique temporal anomalies began to occur in a very small and focused area we now refer to as Ground Zero. Located within the Riverport Sophia Industrial Zone, wrong. this resulted in extremely large resident chronon scientist. Particles, creating the perfect she must know a lot of the same stuff we did. Which led to the chronon harvesting operation you see today. All of Monarch's chronon technology relies on these particles. Most notably, the chronon field regulator, or CFR, which is the only device that can ensure stabilization and regulation of mass quantities of these particles. When the time is right, the entire supply of chronon containers will be transported from this location to the Monarch headquarters, where the CFR is located. Only authorized personnel are to handle the containers directly. Unique temporal anomalies become more frequent with closer proximity to the ground zero perimeter when entering the yellow zone. This yellow zone emits dense chromium pockets ripe for harvesting. The ground zero perimeter itself is never to be entered under any conditions. We refer to this area as the red zone, where time no longer flows in a consistent manner and shifts without warning. Many who have entered ground zero have never returned. We know that the fracture will occur on October 8, 2016. We hypothesize that from this point forward, chronon levels in ground zero will slowly deplete until time anomalies cease to occur. For this reason, all harvesting necessary for sustained use of the CFR must Hostile! be completed. For more information, please refer to your employee manual. Thank you.
find a way out of here. No clear exit down here. May have to head upward. There's got to be something I can use to get up there. Fracture is escalating more rapidly than Mr. Serene had anticipated. Chronon levels will lower to a point that renders Ground Zero obsolete in the near future. I'm queuing up the presentation to make sure everybody remembers the essentials before we proceed. Hello, I'm Dr. Sophia Amaral. Over the past six years, Monarch has made vast technological advances in the area of Meyer Joyce particles, better known as Chronon particles. July 4, 2010, unique temporal anomalies began to occur in a very small and focused area we now refer to as Ground Zero, located within the Riverport Industrial Zone. This resulted in extremely dense emissions of chronon particles, creating the perfect conditions for extraction, which led to the chronon harvesting operation you see today. All of Monarch's chronon technology relies on these particles. Most notably, the Chronon Field Regulator, or CFR, which is the only device that can ensure stabilization and regulation of mass quantities of these particles. When the time is right, the entire supply of Chronon containers will be transported from this location to the Monarch headquarters, where the CFR is located. Only authorized personnel are to handle the containers directly. Unique temporal anomalies become more frequent with closer proximity to the ground zero perimeter when entering the yellow zone. This yellow zone emits dense chronon pockets right for harvesting. The ground zero perimeter itself is never to be entered under any conditions. We refer to this area as the red zone, where time no longer flows in a consistent manner and shifts without warning. Many who have entered ground zero have never returned. We know that the fracture will occur on October 8th, 2016. We hypothesize that from this point forward, chronon levels in ground zero will slowly deplete until time anomalies cease to occur. For this reason, all harvesting necessary for sustained use of the CFR must be complete before the fracture runs its course. For more information, please refer to your employee manual. Thank you for your time.
not your average elevator. documents here about some kind of private gala Marnak is hosting tonight? Tonight? After everything has happened? It has something to do with their future plans. Serene's delivering a speech and the guest list has everybody from monarch higher-ups to big shot scientists to the mayor of Riverport, which raises the question, why now? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Okay, getting closer, I think. Now, which way's the dry dock? <clears throat> I got that I got briefcase that we lifted from William Joyce's car. car. Laid out the Laid contents in the, the trailer. You want me to go through? No, no. Serene, Serene wants, wants the first look. First look. Till then, Til then, hands off. Hands off. Looks like the trailer has power now. Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. The Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch just got footage of your lady friend sniffing around some confidential Monarch files. Kind of a big no-no around here. Amy, I gotta go back for her. Don't. I'll pick her up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul, the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. Oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. Saving countless lives. We'll keep you updated as this story develops. And now, some music. <clears throat>
Amy, you okay up there? Oh, shit. Locked. There's got to be another way to get through here. around ground zero. Roger. recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was clear that the workshop was at the center of the Monarch operation. I wanted to see what was in there, and it seemed to be the only way to the dry docks answering. Got the word. Safeguard squad's checking out that explosion. Striker team is establishing a defensive perimeter around Ground Zero. An entire striker team? For one guy? University incident got HQ wetting their pants. The kid's gonna get torn apart like a goddamn pinata. Of an incoming stutter. 
Safeguard, I want Joyce contained before that stutter hits. 